Hey everybody, it's Max with PhoneArena.com. We are at the uh, Sony exhibit here at CES 2015 in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm standing here with Steve uh, with uh, Sony Electronics, and uh, we're gonna take a look at the snazzy new Sony Smartwatch 3, um, which most notably recently just got announced with this pretty sharp looking stainless steel uh, uh, wristband, which looks really nice. And uh, Steve is going to take us through some of the features of the smartwatch that are now active, and uh, really puts the smartwatch three, um, you know, a breed apart from the other Android Wear devices well, we, out there. We say actually it's the most advanced Android Wear device on the market right now, and and there's a number of reasons for that. But the big reason is that it's the only Android Wear device that has built-in untethered GPS. So if you use it with supporting applications such as iFit Outside, our own uh, LifeLog application, Google MyTracks, GolfShot GPS, et cetera, you can leave your smartphone phone behind and still track your performance right. and have it displayed here on the screen of SmartWatch 3. Yeah. And then of course when you sync back up with those accounts with your smartphone, that data gets loaded into your account right. and loaded up to the cloud. But as you've already noted, uh, from a fashion perspective, we now have the stainless steel version. The body's always been stainless steel, yep. but now we include this classy stainless steel edition that you, you can purchase as an option. Looks really nice, too. I'm a big fan of metal bands like that. So. Yeah, it gives yeah. you more of an elegance. Now, this yeah. is going to come in kit initially. Yep. Uh, so, you know, if you think that you want this for the office or day-to-day, or -day, but when you're running, you want a silicon band, you go buy the silicon band now as an optional accessory. Sure. And the uh, metal band will be available through Google Play as well. Uh, that's the intention, okay. yes. All right, cool. So um, what else were we going to go over on this thing here? The, uh, the iFit uh, application, how it synchronizes. Uh, this yep. is a standalone. It does its own uh, GPS tracking. Yep. Uh, and that is something that just got activated now with this announcement. Um, it was not... Yeah, initially, active we, on the we, when 3. we announced yeah. SmartWatch 3 at IFA in Berlin, uh, the, the GPS was inside, and there's a number of technologies here that are kind of future-proofing this uh, versus other Android Wear devices, and one of those uh, that is active now was the GPS. Now, what you see right now, I just want to give a little plug for another application. This is called Wear Mini Launcher. Mm -hmm. The UI you see I'm doing right now that lets me access all the applications yep. uh, that I have on my smart, SmartWatch 3. So a little plug for those guys. Yep. But you see I have a number of applications here from which I can choose. Runtastic is one of those there. But uh, one that we're emphasizing here is iFit Outside that we've partnered with. Yep. And this gives you all your data very easily here and very easy to start your running and, and biking. And again, the GPS is built inside, untethered from the smartphone. So if I want to run or bike a little leaner mm -hmm. and, and minimize some of my gadget clutter, I can do this with SmartWatch 3. Sure. And then we were talking about how if you're doing your run in an area with this watch using the iFit app and then you have to go home for some reason and you want to run on the treadmill, the app would work with Google Earth with, uh, with, with yeah. Google Street View. Google right. Street View, and then you could continue your run on the treadmill or, or, or the elliptical, and it would give you all the... Uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, for example, the, you know, uh, the, the, the company that makes yeah. iFit outside is, is called Icon. They also yeah. manufacture fitness equipment such as Nordic Track right. uh, treadmills. So if you have one of these compatible smart treadmills yep. and you have SmartWatch 3 and you have iFit outside, well, when you've synced up your data to the cloud via your smartphone, yep. you can also go to the, go to the treadmill right. and access that same route you did virtually, virtually now on the treadmill. You're taking your outdoor workout and bringing it inside when it's inconvenient for you right. to be running outside. Or let's say you're, you travel a lot right. and you live in Atlanta, but you went to San Francisco and you want to relive that run, yep. you can do that virtually now through iFit outside SmartWatch 3 and, and the compatible treadmills like from Nordic Trek. Great. So the uh, metal band is going to be available beginning when? Uh, it starts becoming available globally in February. No announcements for specific timing for right. specific markets just yet. Okay. Um, same thing with prices to be determined. Well, to be it's uh, already set at approximately 169 euro. So okay. if we translate that into U.S. dollars, that would be in the $230 range if that pricing equation holds right. when the product becomes available. Gotcha. It could be. It could very well be be available for less. Right. Great, so that's the Sony SmartWatch 3, which had been available but has new features activated now, um, along with the announcement of that snazzy new uh, stainless steel band, which has uh, got a pretty elegant look to it, and uh, standalone GPS. 
um, allowing you to uh, make a kit out of everything and bring your watch in, on uh, pretty much any device that you want. Um, whether it's a silicon band or a new metal band, I'm sure we're going to see other wearable uh, uh, ideas for the Sony SmartWatch 3. Keep checking back with us from CES 2015 in Las Vegas at phoneArena.com.